What up, y'all? This is your boy DMV Ken, aka the Neo Simmer. We are back with another installment of Game Therapy. We are playing The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 3. And I appreciate y'all for joining me. Episode 3 is my favorite. It's the most action-packed episode. So I'm excited to play this. Uh, Telltale's The Walking Dead, Episode 3. Let's get it. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. you damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. You really think so? I don't know, man. I've been thinking and... I just don't know. Set with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, shit! Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out.
What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. alive and brings them all out of their holes. Should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear it down here and then we gotta go. So I let old girl get attacked. When I play The Walking Dead, I try to play it like I'm really in the zombie apocalypse. So the decisions that I make are like real life decisions that I would actually make if I was in the zombie apocalypse. And some of them are quick decisions. So I did let old girl get ate for the simple fact that she got bit. If she did not get bit, I probably would have spared a bullet or two to try to save her life. But since she was bit, she was going to die anyway in turn. So it was no point of wasting a bullet and also drawing the zombies to us. So I would just let her go ahead and take one for the team let's just call her a sacrifice for the greater good of our survival sorry old girl in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. 
Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. What did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like... Bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. <sighs> Things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things.
For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. The count's off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Secrecy. Did you hear what I just said? I won't tell a soul. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. There's some broken glass on the ground there. There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Dark. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I thought I told you you couldn't help. I'm curious. You don't say. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? 
I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. here too. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, There's gotta be people out there! Out here. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second! Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him! What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! We can split the supplies, spread them around. Or we could just kill you and take it all. And, and, and what about when they run out? When you don't have us out there collecting them for you? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up! Christ! Oh, shit! RV. It's gonna be okay. Go!
Sits, get down here! Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, Everything's then. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Holly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Let's just let it go. People make mistakes, and yeah, this is a fucking doozy. But it's not worth it, Lily. Then what do we not forgive? Honestly, tell me. Kenny can kill my dad. Carly can steal from us. Where's the line? Nobody was stealing anything. Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. Alright, well, we can deal with this now then. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily... Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just Fucking kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha, huh, the hell you will. Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. Lily, lay off. I can't leave. You know I can't. Thank you, Lee. Please, listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now. What the fuck's the problem? Drop 
it. What's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. What are you talking about? He didn't tell you. He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. Is that true, Lee? Yes. Fucking hell. Were you ever going to get around to telling me that? You got a little girl with you. To hell with it. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. I don't have anything left. Lee, a word, please? What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do, from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys... What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. something up ahead.
Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Claire, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, huh? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind. So I made the decision to leave Lily, not only because she killed Carly, but because she is a ticking time bomb. She was just going to eventually explode. It was just a matter of time. So if it was up to me, I probably would have left her earlier. Um, I do value that she does have good weaponry skills and that she is a uh, assassin, but her anger just got the best of her. She lost her father. We were responsible for her father being killed. So I believe that she was just a ticking time bomb and that was going to happen eventually. It's unfortunate that Carly had to die because of her anger. Right now, Duck is bit. Duck always seems to be in those positions where he's falling down and there's a walker about to eat him. So I felt like eventually Duck was going to get bit. It's unfortunate. So I believe that D Duck's uh, time is ticking and uh, eventually we'll have to find a way of what we're going to do to deal with Duck. in the chair. We got him. <sighs> Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. I think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, 
This could be exactly what we need. A bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. door's gonna hurt. Okay, you aren't gonna like this. Thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Here, I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Of a bitch. Whatever you did, lit the dash up. So far, so good. Hmm. 
Now we're talking. Enjoy this. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This horse will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. Just need to figure out the controls. I'm sure we can figure it out. How tough could it be? Years. Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? I didn't take anything. I asked if you touched it. I didn't. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Kenny? Sure did. The man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hey, sweet pea. That 
candy Chuck gave you. Taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? How stuck? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was, uh, fond of her, yeah. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. some kind of something. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. We'll be fine. We've gone through just as much as anybody else. This one's gonna grow up quick. I already am. I don't doubt it, son. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get in. What, sir? If you get that off his face, my hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? You're acting like nothing's wrong, and somebody's got to knock some sense into you. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna. I've had your back, Kenny. What you're going through now is hell on earth, and you need your friends. You're not a bad man. Man isn't bad. Man just is. All we can do is take care of who we can and keep moving forward. Always been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Kat. If you think of one, you let me know. 
Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine.
are you doing? Don't talk to my girl. Just stay away from her. Excuse me, son? I heard you told her she was gonna die. That she was gonna end up like Duck. Why'd you go and do that? Cause she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. That y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Be safe up here. You betcha. I was lucky enough to get it working once. Hey, Ben. Hey. many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. Guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See ya. Yeah. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh... Tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. 
It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Aim lower. A bit to the right. Close. Now keep it steady. Excellent. Good shot. Aim more to the right. Okay, a little higher. There you go. Nice. Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See? You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. Well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab.
fifth of whiskey. I hope we're not on this train much longer. if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kidding. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Hey. Yeah? Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend. That he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No. Just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Where would we even look? I can remember where they were staying. Maybe they didn't go far. Clementine. Please, Lee. All right. Let's figure it out on the map, but a boat is the ultimate plan. Yes, they can come with us, right? Yes. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna want to look for a boat here. I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, 
Think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far... Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves! I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. He had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. It's empty.
that's about the only useful thing in here. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Empty. That's what I figured. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan, or what? Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, kid? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. So I decided to shoot Duck so Kenny and Katya wouldn't have to deal with the loss of their son and also uh, killing their son. But unfortunately, Katya committed suicide so Kenny lost his wife and his son within a matter of a few a minute or so so he's dealing with a lot man I feel bad for Kenny we found out that Ben is the traitor his cowardly butt scared to stand up to Lily end up costing Carly her life and so I'm pretty sure that uh it will hit the fan later uh once it's out that Ben was actually at fault for the bandits raiding our uh safe space getting us on the run and ultimately carly and katya and duck being killed hmm. you should wait for me before trying to open doors Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <clears throat> mm, won't budge. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. <clears throat> okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Jump in if you can. What about staying together? Yeah, if there aren't any walkers in there, you'll be fine. It's too far to fall. Well, what do you think we should do? I think I opened it. For real? I think so. It's way too dark. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 
There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! So good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight year old versus three of them, huh? Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. Or we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. There's a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I 
can't reach it now. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. This works. Holy crap! We gotta jump! What? No way! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! I made the decision to pull up Omid because he was injured. I didn't look at Krista as being a woman. I saw her as an able body, strong enough to run and make distance between her and the walker. She could have separated. So we could have easily slowed the train up or stopped it so she could get back on. So I made the decision to pull up Omid because he was injured. And I knew that Krista would be able to get back on the train. And if not, then we could have stopped it once she separated a little bit from the walkers or slowed it down so she could get back on. So that was my decision. Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. Savannah Clementine. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need. Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out.
All right, so that was episode three of Telltales The Walking Dead. I appreciate you all tuning in. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Once again, I appreciate you, and we'll see you back for episode four. I'm out.